one. Who is ready to continue? I the Somnium Files and potentially finish the game. That sure is heck, Gam. So the last thing we did was the Annihilation Route, where uh, we all die. And uh, Saito uh, presumably uh, gets away. And we just unlocked this. Yeah, I like, um, I know that it was Saito inside Boss's body, but, like, that was, it was, it was kind of hot in a way, I'm not gonna lie. Wish Boss would talk to me like that. Like, when she, like, leans forward and gets in your face, like, yeah, you're a psychotic killer, but, like, you're kind of cute. Okay, so let's try to uh, let me just try to recap here. So I'm trying to remember what exactly happened here. Okay, so yeah, we sink into here. We sink into a uh, so helped her escape. And so this is when we don't believe. This is us not believing Iris. And then we go this way, we find out all of this stuff. And then we send it to her mind. Yeah, and we were suddenly knocked out at Renju's corpse. Putting us here. Okay, so... I have a thought, and this is just like... Partly just because I know the studio. I feel like this was definitely a big, like, mindfuck moment here, where it's like, actually, Saito has been sinking into people's minds, taking over their bodies. The explanation for why we always see the left eye missing is because he doesn't care to put it back. So, assuming that is, like, everything that's going on, then you know, like, at different points, it's, like, actually been him inside the bodies. Like, when we investigated uh, Iris, that was actually, like, him. So... The games always, like, have ended on a positive note, right? Zero Escape and Danganronpa. Like, there's some sort of hope. And... It kind of got hinted at, I think, over here... That, like, us, Date... Or, I guess, we're technically, we're actually, like, number 89 knowing something that happened in one of these different, like, I guess, timelines? I don't really know. Different parallel worlds. So I kind of feel like what's going to happen is somehow we're going to gain the ability to go back, like, prior to day one, and somehow prevent Saito from... Uh, taking over Shoto's body. Or if not Shoto, at the very least, like, stopping something around here so that Shoto's the only victim. In other words, so that, like, Renju doesn't die or anything like that. This is my assumption, is that in some way we're going to be able to go back and, like, prevent things from happening. How? I don't know, but... That is going to be my assumption at this point. In other words, I feel like there's still another somewhat big reveal that might be occurring. Your 
we wait? It feels a little cheap though, because like that's what Damn they it. did in Zero Time Dilemma. We'll do was like about going it. back before what anything else. Well, actually, VLR did that too, Come I think. But we'll see. We'll see. My body has short circuited. It must have been the electric currents from earlier. <sighs> but fortunately, my communication functions are still operational. I attempted to reach HQ and Abyss personnel for support. And? No response. They ignored you? There must be pressure from the higher ups. Likely a result of Congressman Sejima's interference. He thinks I'm investigating Monica's case. That is not the only reason. So Sejima holds a personal grudge against you. He wants you dead. That is likely why Pewter is attempting to delete my data. Are you okay? For now. But if they breach my final layer of ice, they will destroy me. I would cease to exist. And we don't want Iba to cease her existence. Yeah, that is a question. Who is this? Is this the original You're Cyclops killer or? Saito Sejima. Oh, so you figured it out. Oh, that's Saito. though. Renju's body on the ground. And Without his our old eye. body. You were inside Renju, weren't you? Until just now? You used the machine to exchange minds, then got rid of his body. Close, but you're a little off. I didn't get rid of the body. He died of natural causes. But what interests me more is you. How do you know you can use the sync machine to exchange minds? The way you're talking makes me think you know why I took out his left eye. But how? How do I know that? Why do I know that? What do I know about Saito, the prototype machine, changing personalities? The current. Did it unlock your memories? Then tell me, this body was originally... Mine. That means your body... This is your body. Isn't it, Saito? The words came out easily. I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard you try. But in a moment of hard realization, I knew. A9's body is mine, and my body is Saito's. Well, if you know that much, then this should be easy. Give me back my body. Don't worry, I haven't killed them. Yet. Yet? The brain you are currently occupying has an interesting quirk. It releases a flood of dopamine and endorphins when it kills. I thought I'd take that brain back before killing those two. In front of you, of course. Which is why I haven't killed them yet. Rude. Such beautiful eyes. I was going to begin the sink, but I think I've changed my mind. I want to see you mad. But what will really set you off? If you don't shut your mouth right now. All right, talking it is. What should I say? Do you have any questions for me? It's early Wednesday morning. Shoko was killed last Friday. That was day one, which makes today day six for five days. So I decided to have to. I decided to absolutely did every day until now. At 4 a.m., Sato began his plan against Shoko. He called Renju to. After taking Renju's body, Sato killed Shoko, then brought the body to Boom Park. But as he explained to me, I somehow thought that I already knew. I didn't understand why. I felt like I was being etched into the. I felt like I was being etched. Words. Oh, right. I put that there. When I was fixing Shoko's body on the horse, her phone fell out of her clothes. I forgot that I had given her one. 
I didn't want to take it with me, and I didn't want to toss it away. So, I decided to push it into the mouth of the horse. The merry-go-round horse's mouth was hollow, which allowed the phone to fall down into its body. Day two, Saturday. I was still in Renju's body. My next target was Iris. If I asked her to come to the abandoned factory, I knew she would be skeptical, so I called her to Sunfish Pocket. I even video called her, but for some reason, she said no. This was around 5 p.m. I was still Renju, the president of Lemniscate. I didn't think I would have any trouble getting her to trust me, but... Date, do you remember? Saturday evening after sinking with Mizuki. Inside the Somnium, you thought you saw Iris's body, so you called her. The time was 4.52 p.m., right before Renju called Iris. You told her. Okay, don't go anywhere. Uh -huh. Lock the door and stay at home. Iris didn't accept Saito's proposition because of your warning. If you did not warn her... She would have been taken here. I decided to pick her up in Renju's car. I thought that if she saw me in person, she would trust me. However... You got in an accident around 6.10 p.m. and lost consciousness. <sighs> so unlucky. My plans were ruined, but my ultimate goal is still achievable, so it's all good. Interesting. After the accident, my body was taken to Central Hospital. I regained consciousness just past 12 a.m. So that Sunday. is why Renju got the out of the hospital. Was success, but Renju's organs were in a horrible state. But I had somewhere to be. I left the hospital, rented the car, and headed to Iris's house. I know what happened after that. You got to the Sagan household at 2 a.m. You pushed the intercom button. He was sweating buckets and he came up to me with this begging look in his eyes. He said, come with me. You got Iris to come with you. But when you tried to bring her here, I got scared. I pulled my hand away and ran. Oh, you know that too? But you're exactly right. I was planning to put her to sleep in the car, but I didn't have my drugs on me. The sleeping pills were inside Renju's crushed car. I was pushing my luck. My plan and my body were both in shambles. I'm sure the painkillers were affecting me as well. My mind was scrambled, and I couldn't think straight. I couldn't chase after her. I needed to sleep. I managed to make it back here and collapsed on the ground. Next thing I knew was the next day. I woke up around noon on Monday. Renju's body was about to expire. By Monday, Renju's body was almost completely dead. And of course, my consciousness as well. That's when I got a call from a Mr. Amanoma. The man you call Pewter. I knew the story after that. The boss told me that number 89 was coming. Then, Renju asked, is there any way we can let number 89 escape? So that is why... I see. So that's why Renju did that, because it wasn't really Renju. Right. When I heard that number 89 was coming to Abyss HQ, I came up with a plan. 
Iris trusts this number 89, this body. I thought I could use it to get to her. And there was another reason. I planned on eventually switching bodies with you. You and I would get our original bodies back. And after I do that, I will kill Iris and Hitomi. In front of you, while you're in this body. A rather nice plan, if I do say so myself. Oh, that's heck. That's why I asked Pewter to help Number 89 escape. I wanted this body at all costs. I brought Rohan, who was inside Number 89's body, to the abandoned factory. Rohan was my partner in the Cyclops serial killings six years ago. So naturally, we had a lot to talk about. But I didn't have much time left. Not to sound like a broken record, but Renju's body was almost done. It was completely useless at this point. So, I put Rohan to sleep and began the sink. As a result, this happened. Renju. It's just like I told you. He died of natural causes. Just mercenaries I hired. After I woke up Monday, I arranged the hit. They were expensive, but I had access to Renju's bank account. I paid them with his money. Mm -hmm. Of course, my intention was only to kidnap Iris. But after I got this body, I didn't really need them anymore. But they had already been paid good money, so... I decided to leave the arrangements as they were. And then... Pewter. I told him about Iris and hiring the assassins. I told him he could use them for whatever he needed. And he acted on his own without consulting me. I called Iris about 24 hours ago. Tuesday at 1.40 a.m., I started a video chat with Iris. Long time no see. I'm sorry to call you out of the blue like this, but I need to see you. Iris got so excited that she dropped her guard. I told her where to meet, and she agreed right away. It was all according to plan. I knew that if I looked like him, she would do anything. I've been looking for him for six years. I see. That is why Iris left Matsushita Diner. So the person she trusts most. You, Date. Number 89's current body was originally yours. After Iris got into the car, I put her to sleep. I restrained her and called her Tomi. I have your daughter. Don't call the police or she dies. I used Iris to reel in Hitomi. And you. Thanks for being so cooperative. But you did drag your feet. I was getting tired of waiting. I was only 12, but I remember it vividly. On that day, 18 years ago, I heard my dad on the phone. I'm going to see Monica. I followed him. I got into a taxi and followed my dad's car. He went to the Harbor Warehouse District.
I've only ever been happy when I was killing something. Before Monica, I would kill cats and pigeons. It was the only way I could feel happiness. The only way I could feel anything. But like a drug, I eventually grew a tolerance to it. Next, I'll kill a human. That's when I found out about Monica. That woman took my dad from me. And she stole all the happiness from my house. So I chose her as a target. I was born with a brain disorder. I can't secrete oxytocin from my pituitary gland. And I didn't have a mother. Not a real one, I mean. My mom died giving birth to me. So, naturally, my emotions toward my dad were... complicated. Sometimes, I think, if I didn't kill Monica, would things be different? Maybe the murders six years ago never would have happened. Me, you, Rohan, Maybe none of us. Maybe we'll have prevent Monica's murder this. somehow. And maybe Shokonodami never would have gotten killed. Isn't destiny a curious thing? One mistake can change so many lives. Sorry, I don't have anything else to say to you. And even I'm growing tired of seeing that twisted, angry face of yours. So. Shall we get started? Give me my body back. <laughs> what a strange fake eye. Oh well. ready. Okay, this is going to be kind of interesting. Mental lock one, two, three, four. And five. Search Konami Date. Date Konami Abyss Special Identity. Special Agent Verify Identity. What? Okay. Am I being synced? Oh, uh, he's doing a lot faster than I do.
sink? Touch. I can't touch it. Investigate knife. What? Damn it, what is this? It's kind of fucky. Is that Rohan? Not 89? Looks like Rohan. Yeah, that's Rohan. Go to the sink room, huh? I almost feel like it's just going to force me to use up the time. Hey, Y27. Indeed, I do appear to be in my own head. It's pretty freaky. The uh, prototype room with the microwave that has television on it. Oh, oh, never mind. This is really interesting. The mechanics of this section, I like it. Blood. It's a pool of blood. I don't know anything else. Blood. Damn. Oh, this. It's them. <laughs> Oh, 
That's kind of freaky. You're hit it. Maybe we have to uh, investigate it. It's just a mirror. <sighs> Damn it! So now you touch it, and something happens. Percent sink. Let's do it. I can't stop it. Oh, get it? Like sinking? It's a metaphor. What do I do? Clip through it. Go out of bounds. Oh, and another sink, and that'll be what over is the this? time limit. Egg yolk time, we about to make an omelet? F. It's an F moment, and it says post an F time. That was. So, wait, is that not Saito? Is that actually Rohan? And he's been lying to us? Falco. Day six, Wed Nest Day. The day when you play your Nintendo NES. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Chain percent sink. Oh, this feeling. I'm back. I got it all back.
This fake eye is awful. Well, I suppose it's better than nothing. I think I'll keep it. This prototype machine has a special function. The body I am transferring my consciousness into will receive a stimulant. The other body receives a sedative. You will be feeling it soon. Oh, oh but don't worry. Like I told you earlier, my plan is to kill Iris and Hitomi in front of you. So I can't be killing you right away. You will watch them die, and then you will follow in their footsteps. You should be honored. My body won't move. My vision is getting hazy. My consciousness was melting away, clarity fading. I don't know what happened. I can only watch as it unfolded in front of me. The scene before my eyes let the scene the played before my eyes left me dumbfounded. It was a fragment of my memory lost all those years ago. A piece of my past buried deep in my subconscious. Something we saw there, Rohan and Saito sinking? Ratty cake, ratty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Had it, <laughs> poke it, fill it with food. Heck. Scissors, rock, paper, scissors, shoot! I win! I win! Yay! She won. Now you have to take the penalty. Up, up, side to side, up, down, pinch. <laughs> Iris, remember when you asked me what your stage name should be? How about Aset? Aset? That's right. I thought of that name. This is when I taught Iris about her name, Greek and Egyptian mythology. So that explains why he seemingly had memories of 89, Aeset. since we are 89. Falco. It's pretty. You see that flower over there? It's a very special flower that blooms in the cold. Gamers were mad the because Iris can be your waifu. Just like the Iris from Greek mythology. Gamers mad because the girl that just turned She's 18 isn't goddess. your wife. And the goddess of rainbows too. Weirdos. That's right. That's why the Iris means good news and hope. You met mommy at this shrine, right? What? When will Uncle be my dad? The Open Omiyaki War. Iris drew it. She must have really enjoyed herself. She even said that she wanted to do it again soon. Yeah, we should. We'll do it whenever she likes. Maybe even every day. Oh, you. 
every day? Hey, tell me, do you want to live together, the three of us? Uh, are you sure? What do you mean? People are going to talk. <laughs> I don't care about that one bit. Well then, hypothetically, what if Iris and I were being hunted down by a secret organization? Well, I'd defend you, of course. What if they're zombies? Zombies? Remember when we went to that haunted house and you were clinging to my arm? Because it was dark and it came out of nowhere. But fine. I don't care if it's zombies or aliens or whatever else. I will defend you and Iris with my life. Thank you. Well then? My answer is yes. So, you want to go clean? Fine. Do as you please. You've done a lot for us. But, there is one last thing. One final job I want you to do for me. It's nothing major. This woman and her daughter. I need you to dispose of them. Should be simple, no? This is... Now I understand. I understand why Rohan Kumakura wanted these two dead. So Sajima asked Rohan to take Monica's corpse deep in the mountains where no one would find it. Rohan found out that Hitomi knew about it. He also found out that Monica had given birth to a child. If Demia got a hold of it, Congressman Sajima would be ruined. And that information would know that lead to discovering Monica's murder. And I, bet, I don't know why I'll scroll like that. An investigation would lead straight to Rohan. But Rohan never told So about Hitomi and Iris. I don't know why not, maybe he decided it wasn't important enough to mention. He played it close to the chest, need to know basis only. That's why there would be no loose ends. That's why Rohan hired the assassin Falco. Meaning, me, to kill Hitomi and Iris. You got it. I want you on this right away. If you could do it in two, maybe three days, that would be great. Good luck. Of course, I couldn't go through with it. But if I didn't kill them, someone else would. I was sure of it. I needed a plan. How could I get out of this organization and keep them safe? But I couldn't think of anything. I didn't know what to do. I needed advice from an old friend. I see. I hear some pretty crazy confessions in my line of work, but this one takes the cake. But don't worry, all right? You could have told me you were being attacked by Martians and I still would have believed you. The truth is, Boss and I are both in the same rookie class of police recruits in our 20s. We've been close ever since. So, can you help me? I do have one idea. Huh? Have you heard of the new investigation department, Abyss? I was put in command there. Boss explained Abyss in sinking to me. The sink machine is normally used to look inside someone's head, but... It does have another function. You can technically use it to swap bodies. Swap bodies? Right. So if we use that... What do you mean? I mean, switch bodies with Rohan. The new you will be Rohan, chairman of the Kumakuras. Then you can send out an order. 
No one lays a finger on Hitomi and Iris. What about Rohan? Won't he be in my body? Just get rid of it, I guess. Get rid of it? You can take this opportunity to get rid of Falco once and for all. No one will know what really happened. No one will ever find out that a police officer was moonlighting as an assassin. It's two birds with one stone, right? She made a good point. I had no reservations about giving up my body. My body has soaked in so much blood over the years, I was almost glad to be rid of it. But I did have a single regret. If my body switched, I couldn't show myself to Tommy or Iris. I would never be able to see them again. But I didn't care, as long as they were safe. Alright, leave everything to me. Hayato Yagyu. That was my real name. Boss! How did you bring in Rohan Kumakura? I made up some charges and had the cops take him in. Is that... okay? Yeah, it'll be fine. Because he's about to switch bodies. Ah, oh, so... Rohan has been put Pewter and Boss are both aware of this the whole time. He will not be waking up for a while. Remember, to get your consciousness to fully transfer. Yeah, I know. I understand. Stay in Somnium for more than six minutes. Right. We're counting on you. Let us begin. Three, two, one. Well, if that's true, where does Kaito come in? It, you're... It's... me. Rohan? Did you forget your own idea? Does that mean... I'm Hayato Yagyu. The switch worked. And there's been a breakthrough in the case. I know. You don't have to say it. Regarding the Cyclops serial killings, right? How did you know? We can monitor what happens in the Somnium from this room. Boston Pewter explained there wasn't just one Cyclops killer, there were two. One was Rohan, the other was Saito. The sink revealed everything. We should ask him about it. Good idea. When Rohan wakes up, we'll interrogate him. What? Pewter, where is he? Uh, how would I know? This is bad. Hey, which way did Rohan go? Huh? Rohan's standing right there. No, this isn't Rohan. Yagyu, where is Yagyu? 
Where did he go? Oh, him. He just left. What? Why didn't you stop him? What do you mean? He's a detective. He said he wanted to leave, so I opened the door. Did I do something wrong? Oh yeah, you fucked no, up, buddy. Don't tell me. I shot out of the room like a bullet. I had a bad feeling, an awful, terrible feeling down to the bones. I knew where he was headed. I ran out of the parking lot, got in a car, and floored it. Oh, hello. What are you doing here at this hour? Such beautiful eyes. Oh, stop. You're always flattering me. Anyway, um, come on in. I'll make us some tea. You bastard! No! Stop! So we were the ones that shot Hitomi. Oh, fuck. Stop right there. And that's why it looks like Boss was with Rohan, because it wasn't Rohan, it was us. Things are making sense. Hitomi had, endure, had to endure a long, complicated surgery, but she survived. But came at a price. She was left with a permanent injury. Also, I used, also I used in her right hand. Thanks to the bullet I fired from my own gun. Oh, Pooparoonie. I said nothing, I got up and left the hospital room, and I left all my memories with her. That night, I visited the Kumakura building and called them all together. Everyone, listen up. Hitomi Sagan and her daughter Iris are untouchable from this day forward. If any of you lay a single finger on them, you don't want to know what'll happen to you. Are we clear? Yes, yes sir! I went to So's mansion, by boss's request. Meet with Saito. Figure out the truth behind the Cyclops' murders. As long as you're like that, I think I'll be more open with you. So I went to the Sejima residence. When I got there, I said I want to meet Saito into the intercom. After a while, the gate opened and... What is it you want to talk about? How long has it been since we last met? That's an odd question. Humor me. The first time we met was when I killed Monica. And my father asked you to deal with the body. But we didn't so much as see each other for 12 years after that. Why are you asking me this? What was the next time we met? About half a year ago. And what did I tell you then? You don't remember? Remind me. I remember you showed up rather suddenly. You really want to kill people? I'll find you targets. Just let me keep the eyes. Then we both get what we want. We'll make good partners. That was your idea. I don't understand why you're asking me. My idea, was it? Yes. You told me that you suffer from hemispatial neglect. That you can't recognize the right half of your vision. 
You always eat the left half of your meals and all that. The same is true of the faces of those you've killed. You can't recognize faces out of your right eye. Which means you can only see the right half of their faces. And that's why you pull their right eye. That's what you told me anyway. Do you have someone in mind? Uh, let me think. What'll it be? The fifth murder? The fifth Cyclops killer victim? Hold on. Could you not refer to us like that? Why not? I told you, it's very old-fashioned. But that's our name. A name you decided. You even sent that letter without my permission. You said it would throw off their investigation. I don't know how effective it was. So there's no relation to Greek mythology? What? Don't ask me. You're the one who came up with it. Hey, Saito. Could you come with me for a bit? Where are we going? There's a place I want to take you. Really? Is it perhaps... the police station? What? Suddenly, bodyguards rushed out from inside the mansion. They surrounded me before I could react. What are you doing? You aren't the real Rohan Kumakura. I could tell as soon as you opened your mouth. Let's get a change of scenery. Fortunately for you, I am interested in hearing you talk. Oh. Mr. Kumakura showed me this place. So it's fitting that this is where you die. What a wonderful feeling. The truth serum is working beautifully. Wow. I see. <laughs> There's a truth serum involved now? Okay. You got into that body with a sink machine. Fascinating. I'm intrigued. I want to see it for myself. The prototype sink machine. Where is it? Chiba? You there. Why don't you go and fetch it for me? Don't worry. I'll pay whatever it costs. Well, it looks like preparations are complete. Let's say you and I get started. All right, let's go. And so that explains how Date, or Saito, lost his eye. We escaped from here. I'm 
My memories after that were lost in a violent haze. I was forcibly disconnected during the sink. Saito's mind overwhelmed me, only my consciousness was sent over. My memories were left behind in my original brain. I thought I might have some of Saito's memories to cling to, but I never picked them up. Maybe because they weren't mine to hold. It felt like reality itself was disappearing. I was confused and lost, like suffering from a permanent hallucination. I could barely feel my feet beneath me walking under the city lights. When I regained my faculties, I found I was in Golden Yokocho. My wander of no destination mind was interrupted by a woman. You're... Saito Sejima? Hmm. I guess not. Huh? Sorry, I just had a feeling. I heard that the prototype machine was stolen, so... We lost communication for a whole week. Who are you? Just as I thought. You've lost your memory. Alright. From now on, think of me as your boss. Boss? That's right. That's what you'll call me. Come with me. Hmm. To where you belong. The Dom really jumping out there, huh? I managed to make a new family register for you. From today on, you have a new name and a new life. As a member of Abyss, the team I run. You want me to be a police officer? You were a policeman before, remember? You've already passed the exams. There shouldn't be a problem. But the new me didn't pass. That's fine, trust me. It won't be a problem. That congressman knows how to pull strings. Who? No one, never mind. So what's my new name? Kaname Date. I hope you like it. Kaname Date. Yep. Nice to meet you, Date. One year later, I was called into the control room. Peter has something to show me. The official title is AI Ball. You may call her Iba. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. Human unlocked. Persona person's analysis. How are you feeling? Your head clearing up? I have been waiting. I really want you to enjoy this show. I need you to see it clearly. Awake. Looking at it. What are you doing? Follow him! After the sink six years ago, I became a parasite in Rohan's body. But I was broken. The sink only sent data to my brain piece by piece. But that error did allow me to escape prison. It was Rohan who was accused of injuring Hitomi. Naturally, I went to trial, being the one inside Rohan's body at the time, for a violation of firearms law and attempted murder. However... So, pull some strings, or...? Prosecution tried to get him on premeditated murder, but... It was determined that he was insane at the time. Oh. Anyway, mm -hmm. they decided to keep him in a special hospital. You would know more about that than me. Or do you not remember? 
You've been using other men's names for so long you don't even know your own. It's Yagyu. Hayato Yagyu. Yes, that's right. You're a Japanese native who worked as a police officer. Imagine, a police officer being a serial killer. I don't think the public would react kindly to that if they found out. Heads would roll. Departments would fold. There would be shameful suicides. So your superiors decided that erasing every record of your existence was the preferable option. Hayato Yagyu ceased to exist. And Falco, the anonymous assassin, was sent to prison, where he was known as Number 89. Fitting for a man with no name. Stop right there! It's all coming together. <sighs> Six years ago, Rohan in Falco's body visited Hitomi's house and tried to kill her. But that didn't go very well. He was arrested by the police. He was sent to trial and sentenced to life in prison. It only makes sense. Falco was an assassin responsible for countless murders. The title assassin makes it sound so clean and professional, doesn't it? But he was a murderer. A serial killer. Life in prison was a light sentence as far as I'm concerned. You deserved far worse. Consider yourself lucky. Counterattack. Saito's off guard. I might be able to make a move. I tried to sweep Saito's feet, but then... You have a choice. Iris and Hitomi. Die before these two or after. I would of course prefer that you choose the latter. It would be quite a lonely affair, with no one watching. So, what do you want to do? I'll give you to the count of three. One. Two. Three. No, wait! Momo, let's go! MVP. Damn. Bad shot, though. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But are you really Date? Yeah. How'd you know? Yeah, someone called Aiba told me about it. It was weird. It was kind of like eavesdropping. Aiba? Where is she? I don't see her anywhere. Inside his left eye socket. What's wrong? Sorry, but bastard got me. Take this. <laughs> Do it. Tessa and her mom are in danger, right? Please save them. I gave a firm nod and gripped the gun, following after sight, though. Finding an abandoned warehouse with swapped bodies. Feels like some Metal Gear, Metal, Gear, Metal Gear Solid shit. I like it. Oh no. Iris! Date! Do you like fireworks? Yes. I love them. A brilliant, glimmering fragment of time. The flash begins as a perfectly ordered chemical reaction that melts into chaos. Human lives are the same, are they not? As is the universe itself. Damn it. I 
can't get into my set. And I can't get any help from Aiba. Blooming. Scattering in the moment. And it's only a single moment, isn't it? A unique moment that you can never revisit. That's what makes life beautiful. Don't you think so? Should I just risk it? But if I miss, I'll hit Iris. But I've spoken enough. It's showtime. I will show you the most beautiful fireworks you've ever seen. The scattering of the cerebral plasma. The splattering blood. It's art. Perfect. Beautiful art of a lonely moment in time. Don't blink. I want this to burn into your retinas. Well, the one you have left. Damn it. I see what the pun he made there. What do I do? Hell yeah, Mizuki. Mizuki. You bastard. What do you think you're doing to Iris? Pog. Tessa. I'm here to help. Wait, Mizuki. No. <laughs> right in the walker. I'm preparing in case I have to quick time. <laughs> okay, anime punch. Okay. Why not? Did you find him? No, I can't find him anywhere. Where the hell is he? Some girl named Iba told me to come. I heard everything. About the mind swapping, too. I heard it, too. From Saito. Yuko, it's really you, right? Yeah, of course. If I didn't come, who would? Oh, but don't flatter yourself, Date. You bet. We didn't Ace come set. here for you. We're here to save Iris and Hitomi. Right. Got it. I'm fine. This is nothing. Stop worrying about me and go get that guy. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Go save my mom. Did he go through the door? I didn't hear it open. Is he still nearby? Maybe. Raining hard, epic. I heard footsteps earlier, like someone going up the stairs. To the top floor. Nuts. Oh, you can you can okay. see him. It told me. I sprinted as fast as I could, rushing up the stairs step by step until they blurred together. Oh yeah, they're blurring together, that's hot. When I reached the top of the floor, a sight I'll never forget greeted my eye. You told me. Damn it! Mom! Iris! It seems I have an even bigger audience now. That's fine. Having more spectators will be a treat for us all. You all want to see, don't you? The fireworks? <laughs> oh, am 
I wrong? <sighs> so you don't want to see the fireworks? Fine. Let's do Baby, this. you're fine. Dante, your drop your weapon. I promise I'll put the fireworks on hold. I'll even release this woman. He's lying, Dante! Don't do it! Throw down your gun, Dante. Ah, I see. You don't intend to take me up on my generous proposal? Dante! You want to shoot me, is that it? Then do it. But you only get one shot. You have to kill me with one bullet. If you don't, the fireworks show will begin in earnest. Isn't this a Eminem lyric? And I will blow this woman's brain. You had one sky. shot, one what opportunity. Will be, Tate? What will you do? Did I pull the trigger? I guess I guess we're not. It doesn't even let me get a bad option. Well done. However, you aren't out of the woods yet. You have to throw the human unlock gun cooler down, head to prevail. You have one minute. If that weapon is still in your hands, I'll start the fireworks. And one more thing. Oh, you could have done it twice. You move, I'll skip down to zero. Let's begin. Ready? 59. 58. Dante, look! It's that girl I told you about! Aiba. Aiba. Dante, I do not have much time. Listen carefully. As I mentioned previously, I did not escape this body. The surge of electricity shorted out my circuits. I cannot administer a paralyzing electric shock either. However, there is... Another option. Self-destruct, huh? right? Self-destruct. We have to give the code and then a lie. Let us determine a code number. Command 41205. I knew that was going to be important. I called it back then. If you issue this command... But what is going to be the lie? No, that's still too dangerous. If it was me, it would be like... The number will be the I hate line. pineapple on pizza. And if I, I give you the second command within blows one up. minute of the first. What is the second command? How about if I tell a lie? A lie? Something that's not the truth. If I say something untrue, I want you Screw to your Zodiac. Screw your Zodiac sign. Tell me what lie you would tell in I the Somnium games to get Iba the blow up. Is your data stored in the cloud? That's how I know we're compatible. Then, if your body is destroyed... Correct. Damn, so Iba might have to die. Ten. Nine. Say it, Dante. Six, oh yeah, me too. I would love some pizza. Five. Pineapple on pizza. Dante, command. Two. One. <laughs> you are even more of an idiot than I thought. Do I look like the kind of man who keeps his promises? Now you get to see five fireworks. If you didn't drop your gun, it would have only been one. You understand? After I dispose of this woman, I will pop their heads as well. <laughs> I can't believe you did that. Fortunately for you, you won't have long to regret it. Yes. Yes. The burning in your eye. I see it now. Watch. Eyes open. Watch this woman die. See her brain burn like fireworks. Iba, can you hear me? We don't have a choice. I know. 
command. Four, one, two, zero, five. Okay, Date. I... I... What's the lie gonna be like, I hate you? And it's like, oh, it's a lie because I actually love you. Because I does mean love. It means wub. I... I hate you, Iba. I hate you, and I never Come want to see you again. Second command confirmed. I understand. <laughs> it's so it's so cheesy, but it's it's cute. cute. Right, Ella? Cheesy but cute. So if this is the ultimate ending, then Shodan and Renju die in like the real ending. Has Iba always been in your left eye? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me? I thought you'd be jealous. Huh? Thank you so much, Uncle. No. Don't thank me. Thank my partner. Mr. Falco. It is you, Falco. Right? Momo. You shouldn't call me that. I am Konami Dante, MPD, Special Investigation Team Abyss. Sinker. Sinker. But I hardly know her. Three months later. A Klein and Sinker. Three months later. Uncle, your left eye. Oh, this? <laughs> it's just a prosthetic. It doesn't bother me. Oh, good. As you can see, I'm great! Hop hop! Kangaroo goes hop! <laughs> I'm glad the surgery went well. Ah, so we got yeah. surgery. The nanomachines went pew pew and bzz bzz and got rid of all the tumors. Epic. At least, that's what I think they sound like. I don't know, they're small. Anyway, everything is fine now. The doctor even said I can dance again. That's the most important thing. All thanks to the boss. She paid for the treatment. Can you believe it? That's not exactly true. Bob didn't pay out of her pocket. It was a confidential transfer of funds from the main office. Iris knows everything about the original and new Cyclops serial killings now. Not just her, Hitomi, Mizuki, Oda, Moma, they all know. The higher-ups were willing to do anything to keep her from getting out. So in return for her silence, they agreed to pay for Iris's treatment. <laughs> I wonder what Momo got. You know Momo wanted to get big payout like probably. The of immortality in a dream somewhere. Then I guess you're immortal, huh? 
<laughs> we'll see 50 years from now. Because of the memories. I wanted to come here with Uncle again. Ratty cake, ratty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Had it, poke it, fill it with fruit. Put it in the oven. Rock, paper, scissors, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I win, I win, yay! There is a parallel world where she does not win that game, though. By the That's way, the lesson you learn from playing I, the Sonic in the Files. Mm, what question? Why do we park on parkways? Park on driveways too? and drive on parkways? When will Uncle be my dad? I turn away without answering. A parallel universe where you're not watching twitch.tv slash world, and that that's definitely the bad ending there. Winter irises in full bloom. The way you are now is more familiar for me anyway, so... My old uncle is back, you know? Besides, I don't care what you look like. You're always uncle to me. Isn't that how it should be? To judge by our hearts and not by our appearance? So I'm really that ugly, huh? Iris says gay rights. <laughs> no, no. It's a rugged kind of handsome. Well, let's get going. Yeah, we still have a lot of people to see. Yesterday, Iris is discharged from the hospital. Iris said that she wanted to see everyone who visited her. But she's a little embarrassed to go by herself, so I promised I'd take her. We also have to get home. Hmm? Shovel Forge. Uh, if you try it, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But we do have a date, don't we? The date we had three months ago isn't over yet. So let's go! That is a long date. Oh my god, we have to go see everyone. Okay, I really have to go to the bathroom, though. I'll be back.
All right, I'm back. I just knew I, I would not be able to hold that one in. That, that, that was a long one. Let's go to the Kumakira office. Yeah, we're all gonna go pee pee. Date, let me tell you something. God exists. When Tessa was in the hospital, I pray to this shrine every day. And guess what? My prayers worked. God must have been listening. Pog. Are you crying? No, dumbass. I don't cry. I don't. Yeah, you're crying. Thank you, God. Thank you for saving Tessa. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, what are you doing here? Someone wanted to see you when she left the hospital. Tessa, you didn't have to come see me. But I did anyway. Wanted to see you. Oh, well, well, in that case, yes, of course, uh, I, I am here. Don't talk to me about that guy anymore. I know he was a murderer. Piece of shit. But we were brothers. I can't be mad at him, no matter how much he deserves it. Oh, you can you can definitely be mad can't at him. Just forgive him either, you know. Okay, you're you're allowed to so have I your figure, complex feelings. Fuck. It's better to just forget about it. Wedding. Dress. Bless. Tessa. Imaging. Compress. Process. Tessa. Crime. Redress, transgress, Tessa! <laughs> the net idol superstar! He got Tessa. him to get everyone into they Tessa. Said you bet! Wow! That's really cool! What did you do to these guys? Just a little propaganda. Sun up to sundown, I made him watch your videos, Tessa. They got addicted! T -t -t Tessa! I'm so honored to meet you. Is it okay if I shake your hand? You bastard! What makes you think you're oh my to God. touch your hand? It's fine, it's just a handshake. Yes! The fat one ran up to her and with a look of awe in his eyes, slowly took her hand. So soft. You shout out in joy. F. What? He fainted. Too much excitement, I guess. Geez, Tessa's a force to be reckoned with. Injury? You got shot three months ago. That was just a scratch. Didn't even hurt. I'm all good now. Anyway, sorry to bother you, Boba. Dante, wait! Before you go, I have one favor to ask. No, Momo, you cannot see her oh, panties. This is hard for me to get out, but uh... yeah, spare me. You want to see Iris's panties, right? <gasps> panties? I never asked for something like that. Then what do you want? Puff, puff. I'm uh, sorry. I want Tessa to puff, puff me. You know what I'm saying? Just shove my face in there! Just... Are you kidding me? You know what? Fine, I'll ask. Dante! You're a real friend! Alright, close your eyes. Yeah, yeah! Like this? Please you animate the incoming still. slap. Do not open your eyes, okay? Promise. You ready? Yes. Oh, I know. Okay. It, it, let's do it. It's the guy on the floor. Three, two, one. <laughs> Whoa! Dante, I've never felt so alive. All these shitty years of my life have been worth it. For this moment, 
Boss? Let's go. I don't know what's going on, but okay. This is amazing! I am living! Okay, uh, that, that was the uh, Kumakura place. <laughs> Guess they felt that was necessary to put into the game. Dante, honey, who is this? Have I not introduced her before? I'm Iris Sagan. Nice to meet you. I'm a net idol from Lemniscape. A virgin? Hmm? I'm just saying, sweetie, you look like you don't know a lot of men. <laughs> well, maybe she's into women. Hey, what about you, Mama? Ever think about that, Mama? Me? I'm a fairy godmother, honey. Because I associate with fairies and am an older, motherly woman. Wait a minute. Who are you calling old? You are. I can't say much. The public thinks our Ren killed Shoko. And then number 89 busted out of jail and killed Ren. And then he goes and commits suicide by blowing up his own head. That's what all the news reports have been saying. I know there's more to it than that, but... Saito and his body are both gone forever. The body was in for the past six years, but the head office never met that publicly, because at the time the body was thought to be that of Detective Kaname Dab. So he tweaked things a bit and pinned everything on 89, said he committed suicide at the old factory. Only Konami Date managed to survive. That's how they wrote it, but that's not the truth. As you can see, I'm a little tight, honey. How can I see that? You want to? I do! I <laughs> the wink. See. Do you even know what she's referring to? You're so's bodyguard. Uh, who are you? All right, he wouldn't, rec he wouldn't recognize his face. Don't matter. Talking about so? Quit that gig a long time ago. You quit? Yeah. That guy fucking sucks. I punched him in the face and quit. Hell yeah. Bodyguard A said fuck bosses. You're drunk, aren't you? I'm not drunk. From the look of you, you're pretty good at That's hiding. what they all say. Mama! Tits! Whoops. I meant tip. I got a big tip. If he gives me one more drinky. Don't you think you've had enough? No. No. Same. Oh, you're lucky I'm in a good mood. Fine. One more round, okay? Yay! <laughs> Spare me, honey. I don't want to hear it. If I hear the truth, I'm only going to have more questions. Right? There are a lot of things that don't quite add up. Date's face, for one thing. Looking exactly like number 89. They say that your face got hurt real bad in the explosion. They had to put you under the knife for plastic surgery to save you. Your face turned out like that by chance. That's what happened, right? Tell me it is. If it's anything more complicated than that, I will lose my mind. Well, speaking of losing minds... This? It's not Bonito. Then, what is it? Part of the man who cheated on me. I chopped him up and dried and smoked the flesh. You're joking, right? Am I? <laughs> Mood. <clears throat> we should head out. Yeah. Oh, leaving so soon? Don't worry, I'll be back as long as you have information for me. Oh, enough work. 
You should come in sometime for pleasure, honey. Sure, Mama. See you soon. <laughs> Sunfish pocket. Who'll be here? Mizuki, maybe? Oh yeah, except boss boss. Boss boss is good. I'm seriously so happy for you, Tessa. It's thanks to you, Oda. If you didn't help me back then. No, really. I didn't do much. I just risked my life to save you. It's a total exaggeration to say that I'm literally responsible for, you know, saving. I'm curious. Is this on the flowchart? Ah, this. Okay. Your life. I see Ota is still Ota. Ota told me, plastic surgery, right? I kind of like this face more than the other one. You're good at your job. Please come again. <laughs> You didn't know? I made lots of friends working here part-time. Sup, girl? Sup, girl? Sup, girl? <laughs> Excuse me? Ota, you can't just say that. Yeah, Oda, come on. Ruined the moment. Shadows. Thread, silhouette, ASAP. Fears. Upset, regret, ASAP. Water. Wet, sweat, Aset! Aset, you bet! I can't believe you remembered that, Uncle. I'm so happy! I said most of it. I'm actually exhausted right now. But I can't look tired in front of Tessa. Anyway, how are you? I guess I'm alright. Your left eye... Fake. I can't see anything out of it, and it doesn't talk. Huh? I see. So, Iba? What a tragedy. Surely there must be backups of the backup. Like, we're gonna go back to the Abyss headquarters, and Pyrrha's gonna be like... Guess what, everyone? I have a 2 billion IQ, yeah. and I found a way to get Iba's back. She was so cute! What a waste. Ah, uh, that's why. If she were real, I would marry her. You would not survive the attempt. What do you mean? Ota, what are you seeing? In front of Iris? Oh! Yeah, for real? Tessa, Come on, Oda. I was kidding. It was a joke. It's fine, I don't care. Man's Goodness. not loyal. I don't think that's what she means. I've been doing good. I'm delivering newspapers in the mornings, working as a janitor during the day, and writing at night. I might just be the hardest working to talking about marrying Iba. Right in front of uh, Iris, too. I don't know about that. Really, though? I've gotta be, like, in the top three in Tokyo alone. I thought of kicking his ass, but I don't think it would kick. Well, Ota. Aw, you're going already? I can see you anytime I want, right? At Matsushita Diner? You'll... you'll come? Yeah, I want you to make me your omelet rice again. <laughs> awesome! Stop by any time. I'll be waiting. Let's go to the diner. I think I'm going to save the uh, the headquarters for last. I think the headquarters is probably going to have something big oh, in it. Tessa, your surgery went well, didn't it? Ota told me all about it. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Oh, who is this? Oh, um. I'm close friends with Ota, ma'am. Is that right? 
Thank you for taking care of my boy. It's doing great thanks to you. The lunch rush is always crazy. My husband and I are working hard. We never get any time to rest. My mean, was my brain dysfunction. I learned about it just before the incident three months ago. Dying right to close up. Her husband's already passed away. Unfortunately, it turned out even the most advanced medical technology could not cure her dementia. What her medicine helped her manage the symptoms. It's a little odd, but it brings my Yumi happiness. To her, her husband is still alive, and her diner is still in business. I don't know if she remembers me. I look different than I did three months ago. She could ask me who I was, after all. But even if I were in my old body, she might have still asked me the same thing. But she does remember Iris. Is that because she's Oda's friend? Question mark? Full of trouble, I tell you. That's not true. Yeah, that's right. Ota can be really heroic and brave when the time calls for it. Of course, 99% of life is not when the time calls oh, for it. Oh, you're praising my boy. Maybe I should give you a meal on the house. Oh, hell yeah, free food. I'll take that. I visited her in the hospital. Ota brought me. Yeah, I remember. Was so charmed by her. No, oh, stop! You're making me blush. I had no idea she was such a nice girl. You thought I was a witch or something before, right? Don't remind me. I was so awful to you. But now I'm a huge fan. <laughs> Thank you. Well, let's get going. Yeah. Thank you for helping my son. He needs friends like you. You're the nurse from Central Hospital. Well, yes. Have we met? That's why my face is different than it was when why we met. Why are you here? I came to deliver Mayumi's medication. The pharmacist sent me. Nice. Lemon Scott Day. Gotta yeah, talk to the receptionist. I saw Mizuki when I saw Lemon Scott Day. Because of what happened this morning, Mizuki and I are in something of a cold war. Don't even look at me. We're both stubborn. Any of us wants to apologize first. Receptionist time. Excuse me? You might not remember, but three months ago, I called to ask you about Renju, and you told me about Sunfish Pocket. You really helped me out. Thank you. Uh, okay. I don't know what you're talking about, but whatever. Do you think you the receptionist would put me? me in her MySpace Top 8? Why? Uh, well... I hope she would. <laughs> I want to rub them. I want to rub them. Oh, I could rub them all day. What? You're too curvy, tight. Oh! My shoulders! Oh my god, thank you. I've had so many knots lately. Ugh. Perfect timing. Go ahead. I'd love a shoulder rub. Cup moved behind a receptionist to rub her shoulders and sat back down. Frog Champ. Iris and Mizuki have stared at me the whole time. Their icy gaze pierced my very soul. Hold me! Hold me tight! Hold me tight! Oh, my good fellow. Feeling a bit worse for where are you? The driver's Worry here? Not. I shall embrace you. No, not you! Yo. Yo. She ignored me with all her might. Yeah. I extended my hand like a sword, ready to strike. You want to fight me? She didn't seem to take it as a joke. I better not fight her. I wouldn't get workers' comp for that. 
Hello. How are you? Creepy of me. Nothing, huh? Mizuki looks mad, understandably. Uncle wants to know if you're going to graduate soon. So what if I am? Just buy me a new junior high uniform and hire a tutor. I want to go to a good school and a new smartphone and a new iron pipe. That's what she said. Uncle wants to know how you've been lately. You don't know? Even though we live together? Of course you don't know. Because we barely talk. Even after you've officially adopted me, you don't have any sense of responsibility. That's what she said. Uncle wants to know why you're here. No particular reason. Am I not allowed to be here? I inherited daddy's stock at Lemniscate. This is my company now. Isn't it natural that I'd be here? That's what she said. Can you cut this out already? What happened? Breakfast this morning. I made the eggs over easy. That's it? Yeah. Well, that's not so bad. No, that's not it. I made the eggs over easy and then Date. How can I eat eggs like that? I want my eggs over well. Burned to the pan on the bottom and chewy on top. Why don't you just eat an eraser? An eraser would taste better than what you served. You shouldn't say that about Mizuki's cooking. Wow, Date. Mean. You're in the wrong She's like 12 here. years old. Calm, calm down. Just eat the eggs. Mizuki is the one who should be honest. I'm like her hero. What? When I was in the hospital, you were crying like a baby. Oh, I can't live without Date. That's what you said. No, I didn't. And you were never in the hospital. Yes, I was. Was I not? What? Then what was that memory? Anyway, why don't you just make up already? If Date keeps his promise, I will. Promise? The sushi? You said you would take me. Oh, that. Oh, yeah, we still yeah, haven't done sushi, uh, huh? Not yet. Okay, fine. Soon, okay? You promise? Promise. Good. I'm glad you two are being civil again. Anyway, should we head out, Iris? Yeah. All right, Mizuki. See you soon. See you. I'm guessing we'll see Hitomi here, probably. Iris, didn't you say you were going to see everyone who visited you at the hospital today? Yes, Mom. I still have some people to see. But Uncle really wanted to come here. She does have some pretty cool clothes. Come on, don't be shy. There are a lot of things you want to talk about, right? Come on, just do it. But I'm not ready. Of course I want to talk to Hitomi. I want to ask her all about what's happened in the past six years. That's not for me to ask. Even showing up here like this isn't right, honestly. Uh, Uncle, you're so shy. Iris is teasing me. Maybe I could use that sometimes. They can help me loosen up some of my rusted screws. They were my best friends. We would always go to this little coffee shop after school. They had this old game machine there. It looked like a table, and it was about <laughs> shooting... She said gay. Aliens ...or something like game. that. Game. We talked about all sorts of things sitting there. Our love lives, our potential careers, things we didn't like about our teachers. It was their idea that I become a teacher, you know? They told me that teaching elementary suited me perfectly. Those were such fun times. Somnium Files said gay. Things have calmed down, thanks to you. The school has changed, but being a teacher hasn't. Thank you. This is all thanks to you, Falco. No, I didn't do anything. No, also, it was all thanks to Mr. Game and Watch. Name. Oh, sorry, Mr. Date. I'm grateful from the bottom of my heart. I can't ask her that. I was the one who did that to her. No! Stop! I 
I was silent, but she must have noticed my face. If this is about my arm, don't worry about that. You tried to defend me. I know that. You tell me I was everything that's happened so You're far. You're too nice, Mom. I will never forgive you. You have to take responsibility. Uh, Iris. No, let me talk. Uncle will be your right arm. That's how he can make it up to you. Maybe not now. It might take some time, but I'll be waiting. One day, Uncle will stand on Mom's right side, and we can go wherever we want. The three of us. To the ocean, a river, an amusement park, barbecues, and we can make okonomiyaki. It's like old times. Where's that hot plate I bought? On the shelf. And I'm gonna need a raincoat. Hey, that's cheating! You're planning on being covered in flour? Of course! That's why it's fun! <laughs> Wholesome. Six years ago, I was an assassin. Nothing I can do now to make those crimes disappear. But if I protect them, make sure they're always smiling for the rest of my days, I figure that might be enough to outweigh my sins. Sajima Residence. I left Iris in the car. I figured she didn't want to see him. I parked the car a little ways down. He doesn't know that I'm here. I see your face has improved. This one doesn't make me so angry. Because it's not his son's face, I guess. I don't know who told him, but he must know about the switch. What did you come here for? I want to ask you something. Now, I'm curious. He knew the whole time that, like, I was in his body. That's a strange question to ask a man in his own home. I just thought prison would suit you better. Don't you know the law? No one can touch me. Even though we both know you committed a crime. Indeed. 18 years ago. And I was not the one who killed Monica Iwai. That was my son, Saito. But you hired the Kumakuras to hide the body. The statute of limitations for improper handling of a corpse is three years. I did what I did to protect my son. I hardly think that is a sin. Are you familiar with Article 105 of the Penal Code? Relatives of those who have committed crime cannot be prosecuted for evidence tampering or obstruction of justice. That's ridiculous. I agree. If I were still a congressman, I might think about changing it. That's right. You're not a politician anymore. The media has already begun tearing you to pieces. Yes. Soon I won't be able to live in this country anymore. I'll retire to an island somewhere and live the rest of my days in leisure. Be careful, so. There are a lot of people out there who have a grudge against you. People who will follow you to the ends of the earth. Hmm. <laughs> That's none of your concern. Is that all you wanted to ask me? I've been studying for the past three months. I've learned a lot about the explosion of the chemical plant in Kawasaki. It was caused by you and Rohan, the chairman of the Kumakuras at the time. As you know, my son Saito was abnormal with all of the awful things that my son did. I used my money to cover it up, but that got increasingly expensive, you see. One day, nine years ago, Saito called me. It would have been 21. Dad, I thought of a plan. A foolproof plan to make us rich. A chemical plant explosion plan. To help ensure that the casino in Kabasaki would be extraordinarily profitable. So that was all Saito's idea. Saito's idea. True. My son was born with an abnormal mind. But if I had never been involved with Monica in the first place, perhaps he wouldn't have ended up losing control completely. A 
As soon as he drove his knife into Monica, something awakened in him. In the end, that's what led to his destructive, violent plan. You sound like you're blaming yourself. Perhaps. By the way, did you ever meet number 89? No, I didn't. Did you ever see his face? No. Why? No reason. Six years ago, my mind was implanted in the body of Saito. I lost my memory and ended up wandering the streets until Claus found me. He hired me out of the business and gave me the name Konami Dr. But so, Saito's father never even put out the missing persons report on his son. Why? Because of the woman you call Boss. Six years ago, she came to me and explained the whole thing. You know about the Cyclops serial killings? The culprit is your son, Saito Sejima. But you already knew that, didn't you? What are you trying to say? I'm saying we should make a deal. You give me one thing, and I promise none of this will be released to the public. What is it? Leave Saito with us. Tell anyone who asks that Saito is soul-searching on a trip around the world or something. Do we have a deal? I didn't have much of a choice, of course. If I refused, Saito's crimes would be exposed and my political career would be over. Besides, I never held much love for him in the first place. She was practically doing me a favor. So, of course, I said yes. And in doing so, I was able to learn a secret of the Metropolitan Police Department. It worked quite nicely for me. So that's why when he saw that it was... So he knew it was, like, not his son the whole time. Must have been weird, though. He must go on to her phone. So called her burner phone. Asked him why. Do you recall the conversation we had? That my secretary got a call from number 89? That is true. I did get that call. I know. You spoke with number 89, didn't you? I did. What did you talk about? He told me this. A woman named Shoko Nadami knows what happened 18 years ago. Contact her. And you called her phone? Yes. I can't say exactly. The only thing he said was, I realized everything when Shoko arrived. I have to see her again. I had no idea what he was talking about. At the time, Rohan was in the body of 89. Maybe Ron realized it was realized that when Shoko came to visit the prison, that it was really Saito inside Shoko's body. That's what he meant by realize everything. Ron needed to speak with Saito again, but he couldn't not from inside Futu prison. Instead, he called up So and had him do it. Maybe he thought he'd get Saito to visit again. Well, I'll be seeing you, So. I very much doubt that. Yeah, you're probably right. We part without saying goodbye. Oh, damn. I left Iris waiting. She might be angry. I gotta get back to her soon. Where should we go next? Last place, Abyss Headquarters. I'm glad you finally got out of that hospital. Thanks, boss. Boss, I gotta ask. Why didn't you tell me about what happened six years ago? 
Well, when Shoko's corpse was found, I didn't think it had anything to do with the Cyclops killer. I thought the culprit was Rohan Kumakura, remember? And he committed suicide a year before. I never thought that he was swapping bodies. And the other person responsible for the original Cyclops serial killings was locked up in Fuchu, making it impossible for Saito or Rohan to be involved. So, I didn't tell you. Besides, the sink machine being used to swap bodies is a national secret. I was ordered to never reveal that information to anyone under any circumstances. So that's why you kept me in the dark? Yeah. Still thinking about her, huh? No, not exactly. Well, doesn't surprise me. You two were great partners. I want to ask you something. Three months ago, when we exchanged our final words, I looked like I do now. I wasn't in Dante's body, but Iba still obeyed me. Estimating the Watchet system. Huh? Iva was no ordinary AI. She was human in so many ways, including the ability to see and think beyond the physical. She didn't need your voice or iris authentication or anything like that. She knew the real you and regarded you as her master. That's why she followed your command, despite looking completely different. I think, maybe, she knew your soul. By the way, Date, I have a gift for you. A uh, gift? Close your eyes. I did it as I was told, closing my eyes. When suddenly... Don't worry, it's just some knockout gas. Uh, what? You're going to experience something incredible. That's my present to you. Why? Shh. Sweet dreams, Date. Okay. This is the sink room. Pewter? Am I not allowed to be here? Of course not. You should have been arrested three months ago. Pierre is working with Renju, or to be precise, Saito inside Renju. He was leaking confidential information to him. Pierre also helped Rohan inside the body of 89 escape. Pierre was immediately punished and fired from the force. Yes, I was arrested. I'm eating awful meals every awful day in an equally awful detention facility. Then how are you here? Hmm, I wonder. Don't act dumb. Dante, it's okay! Boss brought him here. She did? Why? She told us not to tell you. Huh? Anyway, I'm sort of like his handler now. I'm supposed to be an inspector, but I was the only person qualified for this job. Kind of pathetic, isn't it? I did not, but I did use the sink chair. For what? Something. Don't worry, she's with the boss. She's safe. Everything that the boss did, she did for you. Ask her about it. She truly cares about you, you know. That's why she kept silent about what happened six years ago. Huh? You were once an assassin. If your secret ever got out, your life would be effectively over. But the boss protected you by hiding your past. I don't think she wanted you to leave her alone. Now, who is she to you? Anyway, now that this is done, I'll excuse myself.
they like put a new AI? Did they Iris. somehow revive what happened to boss? She went home. She said she needed to do something in Kabukicho. She left? Anyway, forget about that. Let's play. Play. Shovel Forge. Harbor Warehouse. Interesting. Iris, why did you want to come here? Haven't you seen everyone you wanted to already? Yeah! Iris suggested that we come to the warehouses. I thought it was odd, but drove her here anyway. Thank you for today! It was a lot of fun! <laughs> Is the date finally over? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Thank you. Not just for today, but for everything. Six years ago, you helped me and my mom, and I'm so grateful for that. Will you close your eyes for me, Uncle? You want me to close my eyes? Yeah, please. What's he gonna do? Wait. You want me to close my eyes? Do you? And just do it, quick! I'm so nervous, I'm shaking. Oh man. Oh no. No way. He's gonna stab us. It's happening. I try to keep my cool. All right. I close my eyes and. Okay, open them. What? I opened my eyes and there before me was Iba. Cry. I'm like this. I'm at a loss for words. I don't know what to say. You... You are... Uh... That is, uh... Um, who are you again? You haven't changed. You're still an idiot. Still a himbo. To be exact, I am not here. You are seeing an augmented reality virtual projection of myself. My physical self is... In my left eye? Yes. How did you get in there? I see you have not become any more astute in my absence. Think carefully. So that's what Peter did. Everything that the boss did, she did for you. At a bit. When I lost consciousness. Yes. Pewter embedded me in your eye socket. Oh, sorry to interrupt, but I'm wearing an earpiece. I can hear Iba too. Huh? I knew the whole time. Oz told me about the plan to restore Iba. I wanted it to be a surprise for you, so... Is this my thank you? Yeah, but it's not over yet. Huh? You idiot. You idiot, I thought you died. I was worried about you. Pardon, but you were the one who issued the self-destruct order. Anyway, I want to know something. The number, 41205. There must be something to it. It does not. It is only my favorite number. Your favorite number? I see. 41205? A birthday? Iris! Do not tell him! Uncle, think of the alphabet! What's the fourth letter? A, B, C, D. It's D. And the first? Date. And the twentieth? And the fifth? <laughs> I see. <laughs> Alright, Iba. Allow me to explain. Computer synced into. However, fragments of my data were being secretly uploaded oh. to cloud servers around the world for years. That's what I'm saying. Like the, the, the memories. By downloading and decoding these fragments, 
I was able to regenerate my memories and consciousness. It was the Wadget system that brought me back to life. That system is responsible for proliferating my data. Wadget is like a mother to me. And she protected me as her child. And I am forever grateful to my mother. Never underestimate the power of Wadget. Anyway... Um... Iba? Welcome back. Glad to be back. I'm home. Well, now that Iba has risen from the dead, I think we should celebrate with a dance number! A what? What better way to end this game? And with a dance number. Teacups that are flying, on maps mystifying, you'll think that I'm lying, this old tale of mine. A journey through time. A permanent Frost on the pyre, fruit never expires. You've seen in your eyes, you've seen in your mind. While the, the true ending. Hearts, while the blind need the blind, the marble loses shine. The eye clouds by design. But we know in our souls the one hope, the one truth. That if we believe we can, we can make miracles. Even with the devils of time against you, never let the fire fade. Oh yes, Oda's here too. Momo. Come on, Date. Get it get in on the dancing. Come on. Yes. How much fun do you think the animators had doing this ending scene? <laughs> I'm a little sad that So's not in it though. I know he's like, I guess, a bad guy, so you know, it's like only good people that are here.
the synchronization. By the way, everyone, the reason you can see me right now is because I'm projecting myself into special technology. Oh my goodness, I'm going to pass over that. Oh, sweet. Hold me up, Rich, one more time. Oh, sweet. You must find your body. Oh, sweet. 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 They were explaining something, and then everyone just started talking. Your eyes have been opened. Dance has been unlocked on the title menu. Mirror image. That's all we need, all we need is boss. We can just end right there. This is me. Oh, the Hi, bud. Started learning the dance. Honestly, I cannot blame you. Teacups that are flying on maps, Mr. Flying. You'll think that I'm flying. This old tale of mine. A journey through time. A permanent fire. Cold frost on the Well, that was that was a fun game. That was a thoroughly enjoyable journey. So I make sure there's not like some sort of hidden Yeah, cool. Interesting. I liked how I 
thought that this was going to be like a cure. Oh, like it was gonna like gonna go back or something. I, I guess it kind of sucks to like Renju and uh, Shota actually have to like die in the real ending. But you know what happens. So yeah, I enjoyed that. <laughs>